G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I thought I'd show you how to make a toaster sandwich in the old air fryer. Now they're super easy to make and they usually turn out really, really well. Although I have learned by mistake not to do a few things and I'll show you those things during this video. But anyway, let's start making one. So today I'm going to be making a toasted ham, cheese, tomato and onion sandwich. One of my favorites. So for starters, let's grab some butter. We'll put on the bread. Now you don't have to add butter to bread, but if you don't, there must be something wrong with you. Well, for one thing, have you ever seen someone that eats margarine smile? And just to add a bit of flavor, oh, hopefully all over the bread and not all over your kitchen. I'll just add a bit of tomato sauce. This'll, this'll make this more pizzery. And I'll grab some onion. Just nice thin slices. And we'll add that on. Next, I'll add some ham. Now, if you have ham like this, if you leave it in there, it'll all curl up like a cup. And then everything will be shoved inside this little cup. And you don't really want that. So you do need just to cut it into little bits. And that'll stop that curling up from happening. Next I'll add a few slices of my favorite vegetable or fruit, the tomato. Love these things. I better add some pepper. And I always add a bit of salt to the tomatoes. And now it's time to add the cheese. Now, you can use this plastic cheese, but sometimes the plastic cheese blows off the bread and then goes all over the side and believe me that's a clean up I don't want to have to put you through. So I've learned from mistakes not to use that. I'll use this the old shredded cheese even though it'll probably still blow around but at least you're only cleaning up a few little bits and not the whole inside of your air fryer basket. We'll give it a bit of a push down and now we'll just grab the air fryer basket and put this inside. Alrighty, so now the basket just goes in. We'll hit the start button, 180 degrees, good. And we'll drop that down to five minutes and hit start. Alright, well the time has gone off. Let's take a look. Oh, yes! How good does that look? And there's no mess and no cleanup. So gently take this out without touching the sides of the air fryer basket because it will give you some third degree burns. Onto a plate. Alrighty, well there you go. So easy, huh? How easy is it? Five minutes in the air for iron buff, it's done. No sitting, watching or anything. You can just relax on the couch while it's cooking. Anyway, let's dive on in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so juicy and so delicious. Mm. Oh my. Well there you go, a nice simple easy recipe for you to try out. I hope you like it. If you do make it, let me know what you thought about it. If you want some more videos like this, remember to show it some thumb and love. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll see you next time when I'm cooking something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the 